The James Webb Space Telescope has completely reshaped the way astronomers look at the universe. Since its launch on December 25, 2021, the JWST captured a large amount of images of deep space, with potentially the highest sensitivity and infrared resolution that has ever been recorded have been going viral around the planet. Now recently the James Webb Space Telescope captured a new image even more detailed than ever before of the furthest known star in our universe. What interesting discoveries have scientists unraveled about this highly interesting observation? Join us in this video, as we bring you all the details about the furthest known star in our universe. People all throughout the world have always been fascinated by stars. We have awed at the stars for generations, wondering what they are and where they originate from. Because of technological breakthroughs, stars have become one of the most fascinating features of space. We now understand that stars are massive balls of gas held together by gravity. We also know that stars vary in size, color, and age. The study of stars and other celestial entities is known as astronomy. It is one of the oldest sciences, and it has contributed to our understanding of our role in the cosmos. Astronomy has also been instrumental in the development of new technology such as telescopes and satellites. We would not have made remarkable discoveries about our universe without astronomy. For example, we would be unaware that our galaxy contains billions of stars and that our galaxy is simply one of billions of galaxies in the universe. Furthermore, without astronomy, we would not have been able to build the technologies required for space exploration. Astronomy is an important science that helps us comprehend the world and our role in it. The universe's oldest stars are known as red dwarfs. Methuselah, discovered in 2005, is one of the oldest red dwarfs. Methuselah was considered to be roughly 16 billion years old, making it the universe's most senior star. It is located about 190 light years from Earth in the Milky Way galaxy. Now recently, scientists used the JWST to observe the furthest known star in our universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized the way astronomers look at the universe. Since its launch on December 25, 2021, Images captured by the largest telescope with potentially the highest sensitivity and infrared resolution have been going viral around the planet. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most advanced telescope in human history. Its Integrated Science Instrument Module, or ICM, provides the telescope with electrical power, computing framework, cooling capability, and structural stability. The ICM also holds the guide camera of the telescope into the four science instruments. The James Webb Space Telescope hosts multiple instruments. The near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph is used to stabilize the line of sight during science observation, while the mid-infrared instrument measures mid to long infrared wavelengths. Finally, the fine guidance sensor, near-infrared imager and array camera measures spectra over a wide range of wavelengths. So far data from this machine is proving to be well worth its $10 billion price tag. The first image ever released from JWST was revealed to the world on July 12, 2022. Experts believe that the images captured by the Webb Telescope the most powerful telescope in the world, demonstrate its abilities. The Venerable Hubble Space Telescope, which was launched in 1990 and succeeded the new James Webb Space Telescope, has made headlines recently with its photographs of deep space. However, it is still in use today and continues to lead to new discoveries, such as the observation of Arundel in March, the universe's farthest star. Stars rarely have their own names. The old English terms for dawn star or rising light are where the name Arundel comes from in this instance. Arundel, a character in the Silmarillion, has a name that is quite similar to it, but this is only a coincidence, as fans of J.R.R. Tolkien will recall. The unexpected aspect of Arundel is its isolation. The Hubble telescope recorded light that was produced when the universe was less than a billion years old. In other words, it had been almost 13 billion years since the light first entered the universe until the Hubble detected it. Arundel was one of the primary targets of the James Webb, which was launched on December 25, 2021. Arundel can only be observed under very particular conditions. Fortunately, the telescope can see the Southern Cetus constellation, which contains Arundel, given the time of year. On July 30th, James Webb captured a fresh, even more precise photograph of the star and the arc of light encircling it using its high-resolution infrared cameras. The Sunrise Arc is the name given to this arc of light, which makes the star appear brighter. The James Webb Space Telescope will again target its mirrors at Arundel in December to conduct a spectral study to determine if or not there are heavy elements present. More than 4,700 scientific articles have been written about the star so far, all purely based on Hubble and James Webb photos. Although there have already been reports of three or four other, very old stars that can be recognized using gravitational lensing, it is the farthest solitary object that we are now able to detect in the galaxy. When referring to distant stars, astronomers use the term redshift, which describes how much the universe's expansion has dilated the light from those stars. This value is 6.2 in the instance of Arundel, placing it 28 billion light years away from Earth. Icarus, a star in the constellation of Leo, which previously held the record, 
is not even close to that amount. How is it possible to perceive an object at that distance when the cosmos has only been around for about 13.8 billion years? It seems paradoxical. A light from the star shouldn't have had a chance to reach us yet. Space is growing at an increasingly rapid rate rather than remaining static, which is the solution to this dilemma. The universe was much smaller than it is now when Irindal's light first set out on its trip because it was so young. Since that time, space has been expanding and galaxies are increasingly separated from one another. Another unexpected aspect of Irindal is that it is a single star, not a galaxy. The oldest galaxies do not appear in the Hubble images as the charming spirals that we are familiar with, but rather as erratic masses of reddish-hued gas with no discernible structure. In fact, the rendering of the photographs is what led to this color. Irindal is a massive star, or was, because it has been shedding mass for ages. It might be a fabled population 3 star, the first stars to form following the Big Bang, because the atoms of other metals had not yet formed. These stars only contain primordial hydrogen and helium. The nuclear events that take place during the evolution of these stars would lead to the formation of these heavier elements. Irindal is thought to have a mass between 50 and 100 times higher than that of the Sun with a surface temperature of 20,000 degrees Celsius. It would shine bluish-white and be extraordinarily dazzling as a result. An isolated star, however bright it may be, should be undetectable at such a distance. It is because of a unique scenario that we can notice it. There is a small cluster of galaxies between the star and Earth, and their gravitational pull serves as a lens, concentrating and warping the light from farther off objects. Furthermore, Irindal is situated precisely where the gravitational lens's impact is felt the strongest, in a small region of that enormous magnifying glass. The star's light can be enlarged between 1,000 and 40,000 times as a result of this phenomenon, which allows the Hubble to see it. That is, after the telescope has viewed the same area of the sky for nine hours. The telescope has recorded the light from Irindal as it travels across the universe, photon by photon. Experts believe the photos taken by the Webb telescope, the world's most powerful telescope, indicate its capabilities. Images of cosmic cliffs in the Carina Nebula, a star-forming zone, exoplanet WASP-6b, and the Southern Ring Nebula were among them. Stefan's Quintet, which shows five galaxies interacting with one another and a stunning deep field image of the universe were also obtained by the telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope has produced even more stunning and awe-inspiring photographs of the universe than astronomers had anticipated. Some of these images have perplexed astronomers and cosmologists. Our universe is vast and unique, and with each passing day, humanity advances one step closer to discovering the world around us. Exploration of space has become much easier since the invention of space technologies such as the James Webb Space Telescope by the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration (NASA). The James Webb Space Telescope has proven to be a miraculous invention, changing cosmologists' perspectives and the way they view the solar system and its entirety. This magnificent invention, which was created primarily to observe and analyze astronomical objects in space using infrared radiation, is currently the largest optical telescope in space. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of NASA's most notable achievements. In September 2002, the multi-billion dollar telescope was renamed after James Webb, NASA administrator from 1961 to 1968 during the Mercury, Apollo, and Gemini programs. Northrop Grumman was the $10 billion project's prime contractor. At the same time, the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, GSFC, Maryland, directed the telescope development and the Space Telescope Science Institute, located on the Johns Hopkins University Homewood campus, oversees the operation of the powerful space telescope. This large infrared telescope has a primary mirror made up of 18 hexagonal mirror segments made of gold-plated beryllium, resulting in a 6.5-meter diameter mirror in comparison to Hubble's 2.4-meter telescope. This provides the James Webb Space Telescope with a light-collecting area of approximately 25 square meters, a six-fold increase over the Hubble telescope. When compared to Hubble, the James Webb Space Telescope observes in a lower frequency range ranging from long wavelength visible red light to mid-infrared 0.6 to 28.3 micrometers. Unlike Hubble, which observes in the near-ultraviolet and visible ranges of 0.1 to 0.28 micrometers. This means that the James Webb Space Telescope must be kept at a very frigid temperature of minus 223 degrees Celsius, minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, so that the infrared light from the telescope does not interfere with the captured light. This wonderful innovation is in a solar orbit close to the Sun, Earth, L2, Lagrange point approximately 1.5 million kilometers, 930,000 miles from Earth, where its five-layer sunshield protects it from warming by the Earth, Moon, and Sun. Earlier this year, on January 8, 2022, the Webb mission team completed the final stage of all major spacecraft deployments by fully deploying the telescope's 21-feet gold-coated primary mirror, for the space telescope to successfully begin science operations.
according to Gregory L. Robinson, Program Director of the Webb Program at NASA Headquarters. The successful completion of all Webb Space Telescope deployments is historic. This is the first time a national-led effort has attempted to finish a difficult sequence to unfold an observatory in space. A great achievement by our team, nature, and the rest of the globe. A few weeks later, on January 24, 2022, the mission crew made a giant leap forward by activating Webb's engines and putting the space telescope into orbit around the Sun at the second Lagrange point. Its final destiny is about 1 million kilometers away from planet Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope's location provides it with a perfect and expansive view of the cosmos while also allowing the telescope's scientific equipment into optics. This magnificent creation must remain in a chilly enough state to work and conduct conventional science as intended. However, recently a crucial mechanical issue occurred on the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA has suspended the usage of one of the mid-infrared instrument modes on the James Webb Space Telescope owing to greater friction that happens during the setup phase prior to new observation. The problem was discovered on August 24th and involves the MIRI camera, which has four observation modes. During the setup for a science observation, a mechanism that supports one of those modes, called medium resolution spectroscopy, encountered increased friction. This mechanism is a grading wheel that allows scientists to select between short, medium, and longer wavelengths when making observations using the MRS mode, NASA explains. Following preliminary health checks and investigations into the issue, an anomaly review board was convened on September 6 to assess the best path forward. The MIRI camera is one of four primary observation instruments on the JWST, the other being the more well-known near-infrared camera. MIRI is likely best known for being the super-cooled camera, which required a temperature of minus 447 degrees Fahrenheit in order to function properly. This was accomplished by the use of a sun cover the size of a tennis court and an electrically powered cryocooler. MIRI has been used to capture some of the JWST's most amazing images to date, including the Southern Ring Nebula, the Cartwheel Galaxy, and Stefan's Quintet. It is frequently used in conjunction with NIRCAM to generate a multispectral final image. The web team has temporarily disabled this surveillance mode as they investigate its functionality. The space agency said the team is working on measures to restart using the misses for observations as soon as feasible, but no particular date was provided. Aside from this mode, NASA reports that the JWST is in good condition and that the other three MIRI observation modes, imaging, low-resolution spectroscopy, and coronagraphy, are operational and ready for science studies. Tell us your thoughts about the newest James Webb Space Telescope discoveries in the comments below.